Uh, oh yeah, it's a topic one. Uh, so, I haven't uploaded in a little while because, well as you can see a lot of stuff has changed, but that's not really why. Because, and I just want to do this quick video to explain and just to um, do this quick thought experiment. Um, I haven't uploaded recently because my internet's not the best right now. It, uh, you know, it is quite fast and everything, and it is uh, decent that way, but for some reason, it keeps on cutting out and I am doing everything I can to get it sorted out but when I try to upload a video it will randomly cut out for a random period of time and then come back in and I have to start it up again and buy it and before and usually before it gets uploaded it will cut out again so um, I'm just going to wait till the internet is fixed but this is just going to be a quick little quick video um, which should be able to upload in between the, the times I cut out because it shouldn't take as long as say a f proper video that I upload. Anyway, um, because like a video that I upload normally would take about half hour to upload, um, more or less, uh, um, and it, uh, you know it'll cut out in between every, every, about every half hour or so, well, not even half hour, it just randomly. But you, you can guarantee you'll probably cut out in about half an hour. Anyway, um, so is Nintendo, well, could Nintendo be the next Marvel? And what do I, and uh, why can't Sony, why won't Sony and Microsoft be the next ones? And uh, what do I mean by the next Marvel? So ba basically, comic book movies. Before the before like Iron Man weren't really seen as well it's all grown up things. They were sort of treated as you know, childish, um, not very good. Sort of like video game movies are treated right now. And uh, um again that all changed when Disney bought out Marvel, they made Iron Man, one of the best movies of all time. Then Captain America, another one of the best, one another one of the best movies of all time. Four, and then event just all of them, some of the best movies of all time. And those movies made comic book movies seen as profitable and something for more than just fans of the original comic books or children. And it, uh, yeah, so being as um, I'm guessing that this is going to be the end of Marvel with, you know, the whole thing with like Thanos and everything and the Infinity Saga being over. I can't really see the next one being as big and as popular as the original. Um, merely because they are, Disney is pushing a lot of like, social justice stuff which is gonna peeve a lot of people off meaning that you know their their you know their their popularity is gonna go down because of that um they do have spider-man uh, again which is good for them but well they haven't bought it they've got got a new deal with sony um but yeah there's not really that much that's coming out because one, two of their most popular characters are either dead or an old man in retirement. That being Iron Man and Captain America. Um, and uh, um, for if is probably gonna, I think I feel like in Love and Thunder he's gonna get replaced with a woman, which is probably gonna peeve a few people off because that's exactly what happened when they did it in the comic books. I'm not going to say that the Marvel movies are going to stop becoming profitable. There's always going to be people who don't really care about the social justice stuff and just want to see a cool movie, they'll go see it. But being as their main flagship character, Captain Marvel, doesn't hasn't even had a movie announced for ever at all. There's no, not even Brie Larson herself knows about when Captain Marvel 2 will be made. Yeah, you can definitely tell that um, the, the wind is being taken out of Marvel sales 
Marvel's sales a bit. Um, and uh, um, I can't really see Marvel, you know, um, lasting or remaining as profitable as they have been with uh, and the Iron Man movies, Captain America movies, the Avengers movies, and all that. Especially, especially if they do the new Avengers one. Like, I've heard like Brie Larson wanting like a full female Avengers team. Which, uh, if they do do that, that will definitely be seen as pandering to the SJW crowd, which again will peeve a lot of people off. Um, and uh, yeah. So, my prediction for this is like, you know, interest in that Marvel movies is going to go down, but it's not going to completely go away just yet. Uh, we ha we'll have to wait to see what quality the movies are when they come out to tell whether interest in the Marvel movies will completely go away or not. Um, so, and now what do I mean by can Nintendo be the next Marvel? Um, well, I don't know if uh, if they'd have a shared cinematic universe and how that would exactly work. It would be theoretically possible with like, uh, with like uh, Mario and Pikmin, even though in Pikmin P and F four hundred four is a post apocalyptic Earth. You could say that Mario's Mushroom Kingdom doesn't isn't on Earth; it's just on another planet somewhere else. Um, I maybe have like Hyrule in the same world, but probably no, they'll probably be on a different planet. Um, just because of all the stuff that happens in the Mushroom Kingdom, you you probably have a hard time writing that in. But you couldn't write in that the cat. You couldn't have Kirby and Pikmin in the same universe because um, PNF four hundred four is supposed to be post apocalyptic Earth, and it is not completely frozen over. Where in Kirby there is a post-apocalyptic Earth, but it is completely frozen over. It is it has turned into an ice planet, so Kirby and Pikmin could not happen in the same universe in at the same time. So you'd probably have to do some writing around that and maybe throw out some lore of Kirby because. While in Kirby, you could argue that it might, you could just write out just like, is an Earth-like planet that's supposed to apocalyptic in the universe or something, um, and and uh, um, PNF 404 is the actual post-apocalyptic Earth with Pangaea Ultima, or have it said that um, Pikmin is set far into the future. Um, where and the de, um, Kirby, Mario, and Zelda, all and you know Link and the, all them exist in what would be no, what, what what would be the present in this story universe, and like maybe ha have some ha maybe have Egad bring in his time machine from Mario and Luigi partners in time, and like they go forward in time and find the Pikmin, but that might be a bit difficult being a Pikmin are like that tall. So yeah, you'd have you'd have a bit of trouble making a shared universe um, with uh, all the different characters. But I do think if Nintendo get some people in, hopefully not Illumination, but they Illumination are doing the Mario one, so Mario movie. So let's just hope Nintendo make it so that they ha that they go for quality. In the Mario movie, like if Nintendo puts as much quality and effort into uh, the movies as they do the video games, then I think they have a really good chance of uh, um, being the next Marvel. You know, with a whole like cinematic universe and everything, and being like really popular and you know basically you know taking their place. Um, also, being as Nintendo. Is, has stated that they are anti-censorship, which means they can get away, the writers can get away, get away with a lot more in the movies. Um, and we may actually be seeing the beginning, beginning 
of um, the Nintendo um, cinema, the rise of Nintendo in the cinema with Detective Pikachu. I don't, I don't know if it was a uh, financial or um, or critical success. I'll, I'll look up some reviews for it quickly. Um, but Detective Pikachu um, was one of the first. Um, video game movies that I, the first video game movie I have seen. I haven't seen um, the one that Yogg's cast did. What was that? That was um, oh I can't remember, but I haven't seen that one yet. Um, and it, um, it was genuinely good. It was nothing groundbreaking. It wasn't. I wouldn't say it wasn't a new man, but it came very close. The only real critique I have of it is that the plot's a bit basic but the effects are just beautiful. They put so much time and effort into doing it. They made actual Pokemon models so it was like a mix of... Oh, I'm gonna call. Okay, I'm gonna have to make this quick now because I've got somebody coming in 10 minutes. So, let's speed run this uh, video. So, um... Detective Pikachu, yeah, so if Nintendo puts as much time and effort in as they did to into Detective Pikachu with just a bit of a bare plot, then um, it, they could really make be the next Marvel. Um, and I've just got the reviews up here. Um, INDB gave it a 6.7, Rotten Tomatoes 68%, and 53% on Metacritic, 94% that uh, liked this film on Google users. So, not so much with it, wasn't a critical success, but uh, with the you know fans of the you know like normal people who went to see it, they really enjoyed it. Um, uh, so, if I just like, yeah. Yeah, three point three out of five, three out of five, three out of five. Uh, liked it, liked it, liked it. So yeah, it sixty eight percent on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, like I said. So yeah, it it, it wasn't it uh, um, the most um, well reviewed well reviewed with the movie, but it was. Most people agree it was a good movie, and uh, let's just see how much money, money did Detective Pikachu make? Pokemon Detective Pikachu earned 2.7 million on the uh, on Thursday on its seventh day of domestic domestic relief. Uh, release. So yeah, it is. Quite profitable, um, mind you. That that could be because Pokemon is literally the biggest fran uh, franchise in the world. It's bigger than Star Wars, and this comes into why only Nintendo, not Sony, and not Microsoft could be the next Marvel. They have Pokemon, which I said is bigger than Star Wars. They have Mario. They have Zelda, and those three alone are enough to make. Uh, as many movies as Marvel has made, um, and those three are what I like to call Nintendo's golden three. If they, if they have those three series, you know, on a console, that console, you know, especially at near launch, if they have like one of those, it's gonna have a good launch. Then surely followed up by another one, it's gonna sell even more, and then a good third one. It's golden. And that's what happened with the Switch. They uh, gave it Breath of the Wild, which is one of the best Zelda games of all time. Then they gave it Mario Odyssey, one of the best Mario the best Mario game of all time. Then Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, one of some two of the best Pokemon games of all time. And the Switch is doing really well for itself. And uh, then they also have Metroid, which is which is also quite popular. They have Pikmin, they have Kirby, they have Star Fox. They have just so many 
um, video game franchises. They have Animal Crossing. They can make a slice of life series out of Animal Crossing. And people would watch that shit. They already have a good Animal Crossing movie. I'm not joking. Look it up. Um, so they could make some excellent movies and TV shows out of the stuff they have. Like, Star Fox would be the sci-fi movies. Uh, Mario would be, like, action movies. And Zelda would be, like, um... Would, would be, like, um... Medieval kind of style movies. Pikmin would be, like, an adventure series. Where you have, like... All of my, the first, you could, and they could base it around the game, so they have like this first series of them, of them just showing all of my, um, growing Pikmin and trying to find all of his, all the missing pieces to his ship, and that, uh, um, and that they could actually, um, you know, you know, make these characters more well defined. And this is why I think Nintendo could be the next Marvel, and not Sony and Microsoft, because, because they don't have anything that could compare to um nintendo they marble what do what does microsoft have halo yeah well they could make a good movie out of that you can't make something on the level of marble and sony uh i do believe they do have a few exclusives but i'm not exactly the biggest sony nerd um, I mean, they had enough to, to make their own Smash Bros. ripoff, which failed horribly. Um, hey, even Sony fans didn't like that. Um, but, yeah. That's why I think Nintendo could possibly be the next Marvel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, and sorry if uploads are a bit slow. I need to get this in. I'm, getting, I'm doing everything I can to get this internet sorted out. Bye-bye.